In the heart of a thriving kingdom, there lived a young and valiant knight named Cedric. He was known throughout the land for his unwavering courage and his impenetrable shield that had been passed down through generations. This shield was said to be enchanted, protecting its bearer from any harm that may befall them. Cedric's prowess in battle and his revered shield made him a hero among the people. One fateful day, an ominous cloud settled over the kingdom. A formidable dragon, whose scales glistened like rubies, descended upon the land, its fiery breath scorching the fields and its menacing roar striking terror into the hearts of all. Who heard it? The kingdom was plunged into chaos, and the people looked to Cedric for salvation. Girded in his armor and wielding his legendary shield, Cedric set out to confront the dragon. His heart pounded with a mixture of fear and determination as he ventured into the dragon's lair. With a mighty clash, he engaged the beast in combat, his shield deflecting the scorching flames and powerful swipes of its claws. But as the battle raged on, the dragon's strength proved overwhelming. With a deafening roar, the dragon's tail swung. Striking Cedric's shield with a force that shattered it into pieces. As the shards of the shield fell to the ground, Cedric stumbled backward, his heart sinking with the weight of his defeat. The once heroic knight now stood defenseless before the ferocious dragon. As the dragon prepared to deliver the final blow, something remarkable happened. Cedric's fear transformed into a fierce determination. He realized that his shield had been more than just a physical barrier. It had represented his reliance on its protection instead of his own abilities. Stripped of his shield, Cedric was forced to confront his vulnerabilities and draw upon his inner strength. Summoning every ounce of courage within him, Cedric evaded the dragon's attacks with agile movements. He picked up a discarded spear and with a precise strike, pierced the dragon's heart. The great beast let out a final, agonizing cry before collapsing to the ground. Defeated, the kingdom rejoiced at Cedric's victory, not simply because the dragon had been slain, but because they saw a transformation in their hero. Cedric had faced adversity head-on and emerged victorious, not due to a magical shield. But due to his unwavering spirit and newfound resilience, he had discovered his true self, a fearless and capable warrior who could overcome any challenge. Word of Cedric's triumph spread far and wide, and his tale became an inspiration to all who heard it. People realized that adversity was not a curse, but a catalyst for self-discovery and growth. The shattered shield became a symbol of Cedric's metamorphosis and a reminder that true strength came from within. Cedric continued to protect the kingdom, not with an enchanted shield, but with a heart fortified by the lessons he had learned. He became a beacon of hope and an embodiment of the idea that adversity was a test of character, a revelation of one's true essence. And so, the story of Cedric. The knight who faced a dragon without his shield, lived on as a testament to the fact that adversity indeed introduces a person to their true self. It taught the kingdom that even the mightiest barriers could crumble, but the strength that emerged from within was unbreakable.